way shorter than it was supposed to be. And I'm like, what's going on? I could not figure out what was going on with my check. So I called HR and they said, oh, your um, wages have been garnished by child support. I said, huh? One for the good guys. One for the good guys? Really? Yes. I said, how? Who? And so they told me to call down to the county. What my daughter's father had did was he was out of work. And so he thought it was a good idea. Oh, yeah, I'm scratching my braids. Uh, he thought it was a good idea to go down to the child support or the welfare system, get on welfare and say that I was an absentee parent. And so I learned that I was an absentee parent when and I've never been an absentee parent. My daughter has mm-hmm. never once been in my um, bad vernacular. Yeah, but go ahead. B- yeah. <laughs> he used the wrong vernacular. But... I've, I've never been an absentee parent. And so it took me. They were garnishing my wages for years. Yeah. Well, wasn't that the time you almost tried to kill him? Twice? No, that was before that. Before that, yeah. okay. But they garnished my wages for a year. I fought with child support. He didn't stay on there for long, but you know, they want you Did get... you get that money back? Did he get that money yeah, back? Yeah, I got my money back, okay. yes. Right. I, I fought sure. with them for a year to get me out of the system. I took all my paperwork and everything saying that I was not an absentee parent. And so they gave me most of, almost all of my money back. They took some administrative fees. Of course. They gave me most of my money back because I proved him to be a liar. Now, nothing happened to him. He didn't go to jail for lying or well, any of that kind of stuff. Well, he used the system like a lot of women use the system yeah, used the to system. rob you. Yeah, he, but yeah, he lied mm-hmm. on me. And yeah, to rob you. Me, it wasn't about the money. Mm-hmm. It was about the fact that he lied on me and I took pride and still take pride in being a good mother to my daughter. And so... To the man, he had me out there like I'm just some derelict mother not taking care of my child. And so... Doesn't feel good, does it? No, it didn't feel good. Um, And so um, I I know what it's like. And and another story, I know that was a long story, but I got another story to why I sympathize with you men. Mm -hmm. Is um, I was going back and forth with custody with him. He got, you know, with a new girlfriend. Me and him hadn't been together since my daughter's one. But he had this thing with just trying to take her from me, not forever, but just trying yeah. to get so uh, physical cussy. And so we went to court. He wasn't working again. The judge asked us both how much we made, and we told him. And she ordered me to pay him child support, even though I had more custody because he wasn't working. And what do I expect him to do? What was the man What do I expect for him? Or you, you think that's funny? No, actually, what? right now I've got the applause going on. That was a win for the men. <laughs> He asked me, what do you expect him to do? He's trying. So he mandated that I paid him child support. Now, I never paid him one dime. Because <coughs> which, which, you know, you guys weren't married, so I don't see why that would be mandated. No, they made me pay him child support, but he never collected one dime because my father says, you tell me if he collects one dime, it'll be the last <laughs> yeah. one he gets. You don't so, want the FOI for your ass. So he ne- I never paid him. Wow. But so I sympathize with you men. I, I get it. Thank you. I, I get it. Thank you. One, we got one woman that's going to stand up. Woman that's willing to stand up and say, Hey, you know, let's make this fair. Yeah. I mean, but I, I, I just, even when, you know, I had her, I never pursued him for child support. Cause I mm. made more money. I was cool mm. with him just staying out of the way, doing his job as a father and, right. and that'd be that. But anyway, so that's my little story about child support. And then Shawnee, you say, um, it's nowadays that, uh, they talk more and have, they always talk just as much as, as women. Um, you know, I think men are, I don't know, but I think men are talking a lot more than they used to. I mean, it's just, Who I know they men go to the by? barbershop and they talk uh-uh, but not themselves. That was in my generation. That was the last generation to do that. Now, these these you got two generations of boys that were raised by women that just diarrhea yeah. them out. They just diarrhea them out. I, I don't, I, to me, it's disturbing. I don't like to hear men gossip. You know, because even in the military, I would tell guys, shut up. Well, what is it? Because I said so. They just take K whole water. Yeah, they can't hold everything. Water. Yeah. yeah. And so Benny says they don't write their own songs. Laugh out loud. No, yeah, they don't. They got it's probably a woman writing the songs. Ooh, this would sound good. Mm-hmm. Say this stroke her hair. Now they're stroking something else. Well, they don't even they, they don't even write love songs. It's so sad. Yeah, you know, the the idea of love song is I love you, let me kick you down the stairs. Oh God. I, I, let me stab you three times. I don't want those love yeah, songs. So. Yeah, don't send me those love songs. Uh Shonda says, why is this uh, child support system the oops? Why is the child support system, uh, all these comments came up, Mm -hmm. uh, the corporate, may I ask? Well, I think what Benny is saying, and maybe he'll answer the question. Let's see. Did he answer the question? Okay, he did answer the question, so I'm going to get to that. And so he said, wow, that was not right. Then um, he told them you were after tea. Yes, he did. Hey, Demarcus, what's happening? He said, I love your father. (laughs) (laughs) He did. He was like, I will give you collect one dime. dime. Let me know. He never did, though. He never collected one dime. He never even mentioned it to me. Um, 
So Benny says, at Shauna Jones, the system, though the premise seems honorable, it is the most divisive component yeah. in our dysfunctional relationship as black men and women. Yes. We totally hand over all accountability to, the um, to our government parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and most of us who've gone to court or mediation even um, over custody of the children, they will tell you straight up, you two are here because you two can't get along. Mm -hmm. You two, and for lack of better words, can't be adults. Now, not it's normally not, well, usually I guess it's both, but not always. Mm -hmm. But you two have the inability to get along and decide what's best for your child, yourself, Yourselves. or children. So that's why we're here. To Benny's point, that you know the governmental children, right? Our and, parents, and, and and out of you two, somebody's going to leave here unhappy right, because you guys came to us mm -hmm. because you two couldn't get along, and so now we're going to mandate legally that this person does this while the other person can't do that. And because you know we're such an unfair system, we are going to represent the woman with all the resources of the state. True, and I, and we'll let this Negro sit up here who doesn't know anything about law, doesn't wait, can't request a lawyer if he can't afford one, and he's just at the mercy of the state. But ignorance of the law is no excuse. No, no, no. But again, why is it that I can be a uh, steal from Circle K, right? <laughs> and, then, get a public and, and then I can get a public defender. I, I see your point. But I am sitting in family law. Helpless. Uh, no, wait. I'm sitting in family law, possibly facing going being incarcerated because I'm not paying child support and I can't get a lawyer to represent me. Got you. Okay. And I'm going to um, read these other comments and then I'll, I'll, I'll go back to that. Cause I have a point to uh, what Benny was saying. And so uh, James says child support is not meant for baby mamas and daddies, couples with assets. What did we do before child support black family? I was also getting child support and took her off because let's see. Uh, the county ha has no jurisdiction over my children. We got it. No thanks. Yeah. But a lot of people can't come to that. A lot of people, um, as, uh, I can't remember who it was. I saw, um, say this, but I have a, uh, a friend of mine. He's now going through the same thing with his uh, son's mother. He said, because she has weaponized my son against me. Yep. She would say things like, well, if we can't be together or you don't do this, I'm taking him. Well, or, I'm going to take him and we move into a different state. Well, uh, real life. D, I told you about my situation with my oldest son. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting for the country and my son was weaponized against me. Right. You're a deadbeat. You ain't paying this. You ain't doing that. I'm paying over $1,600 a month Jeez. for one, one child. And he is under the impression that I didn't pay one dime and I'm just running around, uh, you know, doing nothing. But everything that he has was because of me. Right. So in your case, like you said, and to China, to answer your question um, about the, the child support system, it is used a lot of times as a weapon. Um, and now don't get me wrong. I know that child support um, is needed in the case of, you know, not just men, but uh, um, but mothers as well, not standing, stand, stand, um, stepping up to the plate and taking care of their mm -hmm. responsibilities. There are instances where you need to get somebody involved. Like, listen, I didn't make this child by myself, mm -hmm. so I need help. But. In a lot of cases, it is used as a weapon. Well, shoot, I can't get my weight. Mm -hmm. Oh, he making more money. I see he got him a brand new car. Well, shoot, let me go mm -hmm. on and take him back because if he got a brand new car, mm -hmm. he can pay me more real money. Real story, real story. My son graduated high school because I'm a military veteran mm -hmm. in California. Uh, the, my son can go to any state school free. Any state school he wants. The government's going to pay for it because I'm in the military. Right. I refuse to do so. And this winch, <laughs> I was going to say the other word, this winch went ahead and tried to sue me to make me use my military benefits for the benefit of our son. And well, I said, absolutely not. Free here in California. No, no, no. That, that, that's the oldest one. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. But he didn't want. Oh, oh, I see. He I wanted to. And yeah. I said, no. Oh, got it. I don't have to do that. But you, you're going to go take me to court. Oh, oh, OK. Because you didn't get your way. Weaponize the, the right. system against me. And wait. And in that case, I won because I don't have to give him my benefits. Well, kudos to you. Yeah. So. And so, um, Ali said, these men today are bitch made, always crying. Kunta didn't cry. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> he <laughs> cried when they chopped that foot. And he said, James Evans didn't cry. Al watches a lot of TV. <laughs> I want y'all to know James that. James Evans did cry. Uh, episode where um, Florida was in a hospital and he had to pay that uh, dollar for uh, aspirin. <laughs> oh, my God. Mad Dog was acquitted for shooting JJ. Uh, JJ George Jefferson didn't cry when Louise held, <laughs> was held from a ransom. Jenny Y didn't cry when he divorced my stepdaddy. Didn't cry when my mom didn't know how to. <laughs> Shauna, during my divorce, my ex-husband was ordered to pay. He decided he didn't want to, and I should take care of our son on my own. 
Uh, that no, uh, in, a, in, a, in a divorce, the, the state mandates. Uh, that's one of the good things about being married. The state automatically, in the dissolution of the marriage, mm-hmm. makes those decisions. If you guys can't make them yourself. Well, she said, I didn't go after him for it. He didn't help with our child. He went. Let's see. Uh, I didn't go after him. He went. Oh, wait. wait. I'm, uh, ah, I missed my thing. Let's see. He decided he didn't want. To, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I lost my spot. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't go after him. And for you guys on the podcast, um, I haven't forgot about you. If you have any questions, go ahead and send them to me. I'll be more than happy to address sure. them. Um, okay, so he said, we went to finalize our divorce and I was reprimanded by the judge. He told me I was negligent for not putting him um, on through the state. Sometimes the other parent needs to get out of their feelings and think about the child. Wow. Absolutely. You, I, I agree with her wholeheartedly on mm-hmm. that. But you also got to remember this, too. Unbeknownst, and this is where, where it goes back to the black man and the black woman having a bad relationship. Unbeknownst to a lot of these black women, you are helping the uh, prison industrial complex make their money by incarcerating us and putting us in that system that we can never get out of. Well, that's true because, um, yeah. A lot, a lot of people don't realize. That. I know mm. uh, I'm a fella who gets his license revoked, his um, license to work probably twice a year mm. because he made a bad deal in divorce court with child support. So he's got a bunch mm. of arrears, and so um, whenever the DA feel uh, they, they keep yeah. telling him it's a glitch in the system, yeah. but they'll suspend his license. So many months, so, yeah, yeah. So he can't work, but then he has to go through all these hoops of fire to get it back. So he can't work. And so he's further and further behind mm-hmm. the child support. And then she bitches and complains about not getting her money. Mm-hmm. But it's like, but you're playing into this. Right. Um, you, and a lot of people don't know this. Jeff Sessions has a lot of interest in the prison industrial complex. And guess what Jeff, Jeff Sessions does for a living now? He's the attorney general of the United States. Absolutely. And remember, he was the one that, that wants to go back to making... Uh, Marijuana possession oh, yeah. and stuff. A You're like shit. I need that. Yeah. I know he needs, needs those prisons prison. filled. He yeah, needs absolutely. those things pr- filled. Do, do your research. Al says um, all the black people in LA are loving Coach McVeigh because the Rams beat the Giants. Damn right, fifty-one to seventeen. We ain't watching football, Al. What about football. those Cowboys? Don't bring that football mess over here. <laughs> and then uh, James says Al Jackson is killing me. Yeah, <laughs> something is. Not all the way there. I yeah, apologize. hey, he's a, he's a special uh, guest host that we're going to use whenever we go on vacation. Special guest host. <laughs> special. The market says, that's um, what I'm going through right now, especially since I signed this contract. Yes, I saw that. Congratulations. You say, um, oops, mm-hmm. um, I just don't want the court system making decisions for me. We are two adults. Yeah. We shouldn't have to have someone tell us how to act or take care of, of uh, um Adults, or I think you probably mean children. Yeah, children. Mm-hmm. How, and I, I totally yeah. agree with you. Um, you know, if y'all can work it out, great. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, um, I just think people see, like in your case, you got a contract. Uh, I'm not saying this is true for your situation, but there are people who will say, or women or men, mm-hmm. oh, you're making more money now, huh? Yeah. Now and, I need to take you back, but and, why can't we just talk about and, it? Yeah, I'm making more money. Right. Let me let me let me do that. Right. And I don't know uh, Demarcus whatever does. I don't mm-hmm. know if he got his contract uh, certified in court because in some, in a lot of situations, I, I can only speak for California because I know about a lot a mm-hmm. lot of law in California. That contract means nothing in a court if it wasn't certified through the court. Well, he's talking about he's got a contract. To, I believe it's play football, right? If I'm not oh, mistaken. Right, right. Yeah, okay, so he, okay. he's got a contract. Yeah, no, I was thinking about it. He had a contract oh, no, between him and him contract. and the mom because what a lot of these women will do, mm-hmm. that contract means nothing. You've been paying for eight years. Oh, yeah, we never yeah, know the And yes, then they throw it out. Hey, congratulations, brother. Uh, we're looking for sponsors. Marcus <laughs> <laughs> Donald says, We're looking for sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> a little $1,000 wouldn't hurt. Yeah, you know? and James says, How do we get the family aspect back? Again, we have been infiltrated. What do we do? Well, um, Jonelle, who you guys haven't seen on here in a couple of weeks. Well, I haven't been on here in a couple of weeks, but he's been in Facebook jail. So I do communicate yeah. with him on Instagram. Yeah. So he'll be back, I think, next week. So, um, But he always makes a good point of saying it's about self-love. We need to love ourselves and realize who we are as black people. We are not what... They have been telling defining us, us we are right. right. The finest, we are not those people. We need to love each other and realize that without black men and black women together, we are not going to make, make it. it. Other races are making it because they stick together. Mm-hmm. Rarely do you see them. I, I'll be honest with you. 
I have not in all the since I've been on Facebook uh, since 2009. I have not seen a white, um, Hispanic, Asian, Arab, right. cat dogs, any of those people do to um, each other. Each other what we do to. I've not seen it one time. Right. And I, my memory is not that great, but I don't remember ever seeing an Asian man saying these Asian bitches. Yeah. Um, um, if you guys want to know a really mm-hmm. a really good uh, video to see, go to YouTube, Demetra K. You're going to see a video where she's actually talking about how this uh, business uh, section was once like all white and it's been uh, gentrified, you know, to Mexican oh, or yeah. whatever. And it's a very, oh, about that one video yeah, a few years back. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a really good video and it kind of tells you how they stick together in their economics. And I mean, it's, it, but for whatever we know why we got like that is mm. just by design. And it's just, you know, and, and just to kind of interject, uh, if, if I said that right, yeah. Cardi B into this a little bit. Sure. So like I said, on the show we did the other day, I'm not mad at Cardi B for making her money. However, I am mad at us for falling for that. Cardi B is by design. Everybody keeps saying, mm-hmm. oh, she's a success story and she's a rags to riches and she's made it all, you know, she's just, oh, it just inspires me. Why? Right. And notice that she recently said that she wants to change because I got little kids looking up to me. She's not going to change. No. She, Cardi B is by design. Mm-hmm. She is there. She's gotten this record contract or whatever she's gotten and singing the most deplorable garbage on the planet. And I want you guys to take a look for those on the podcast, take a look right now. We're going to show you uh, what Cardi B used to do. And she just turned 25, what she used to do for a living. So take a look at this and we'll be right back. And, and that's, that's Cardi be, B. And that's going to be for the YouTube video as well. Mm-hmm. So the reason why I say that in regards to the black family is because you have people like Cardi B who is being promoted. You have CNN, you have mm-hmm. Forbes magazine, you have all these, I guess, one time reputable uh, news sources who are talking about Cardi B. And so she's put used as an example so black women can continue to degrade ourselves yes. and, be degraded and follow her as an example. She's naked. She's talking stupid. And you Nicki Minaj, all these people. And so as long as we keep paying attention to people like that, we are never going to get better because they're not sending us or giving us anything that we can and use. And I'm going to give you a good example. And I want to remind you before we get off the show mm-hmm. about somebody you need to talk about that we personally know. Who? Oh, okay. So, okay, uh, we will. And, and, and that will tell you how we're going. I mean, this, the, the person is educated and doing great things and an educated fool and educated fool. So, and so, uh, the market, she said, thanks. Exactly. And Al says, my son's mom told her boyfriend that she can get child support from him for her kids because in here in Texas, couples living together for an extended period is considered common, common law, law marriage. Common really? Law. Common law. That's right. Wow. That is right. That makes it kind of hard for a dude to want to. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, that Claudine action yeah, going no, on right there, there. There's a lot of rules that uh, a lot of these young men are not aware of because their mothers are living ratchet lives themselves. If you even act in a fatherly way to children that are not yours. That girl can go to court knowing what she knows. Somehow you guys know, know this information and make you the father. And you will be financially responsible, even though another guy right there is the father. You've been acting like the father. So from that point on, you will be the father. That is pretty scary. And then so the market says, laugh out loud. Thanks. We can make something happen. I support what y'all are doing. See that? <laughs> there you go. There it is. You heard it. Wait, wait. We go, we go, uh, yeah, record that. Record yeah. it. And then uh, he also says, amen. And Benny says, that's why I hammer hard on the psychological dysfunction yeah. we suffer we do. from. We have to shake the PTSD. Yes. yes. Post traumatic slave syndrome. syndrome. Absolutely. We do. And until we do that, as you said once before, Benny, we're always going to be in the same situation, chasing our tail, trying to figure it out if they did. Um, as I said, uh, Dave Chappelle skit about the reparations. It's, to me, it's funny, but it's very true. True. We do get reparations. We're just going to give it all away. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, just real quick. You've got some very intelligent uh, people on your live mm-hmm. and stuff like that. When are you going to start doing a actual live and have them like Skype or something in and do that? That's something we, you know, we could do. And hey, you know how to do I it. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. And don't get me wrong. Record I, yeah. Button. And I know people that don't want to be seen and stuff like that. But you could uh, we can Skype with you. and You just put a, a caption on there. where Your face doesn't have to be seen. So. Okay, well. So look it up, brother. Look it up. We'll, we'll look into that. Now, Al says, I saw an Asian man at the Texans game. Today, barbecue, and it was smelling real good, and it was mostly black people at his tent. And get this, they were giving him money for plates. Mm. We just, um, 
A lot of us are dead. They we're just dead. I watch these brothers every day in LA. They're boycotting this uh, liquor store of um, these Asians who were beating up the elderly and the women and stuff in the store. And they're outside boycotting. That's what we need to do one weekend. I won't go let down me there go and cover. Myself, but yeah, we need okay, to go, we down, need to go there. down there. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll get my little karate gi. I'll bring yeah, my, yes. my swords and stuff. Yeah, we need you to get your karate outfit on. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'll be down there. Let, let, uh, play my Black Belt Jones thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. But as these brothers are out there boycotting, and uh, some <laughs> sisters too, they have these people walking into the store and they'll say, Hey, y'all know we, y'all see us out here boycotting, mm-hmm. right? Oh, I'm just going in there real quick. I need to just go get me something real quick. Yeah, I need to get, I need to get some papers. And that's basically what they're coming out of there with black <laughs> and miles or whatever. But they're acting like, well, just because I'm going in there real quick, it doesn't count that I'm spending my black dollars in there with these Ignorant. people who are beating us up. Ignorant. It's, yep. And I'm like, I, re- I just be wanting to jump through the phone. Like, let me just <laughs> get my hands around the neck. Or let me just, you know, what those defibrillators just, just defibrillate them and bring them back, back to life. life. Like, wake up. Yeah. Um, and so Shauna says, I saw that on your page where people were not listening and saying, no, they weren't. And matter of fact, Al, to your point, at that same store, the Asians set up a barbecue, free barbecue giveaway. <laughs> you would think that they was giving away crack. And this brother who was um, doing the live, oh he was so upset. I found myself on there trying to come. He was like you the, the, the other week. Um, I found myself on there trying. I was telling him, calm down, brother. Right, you can't right. reach everybody. The, the, those that are walking dead, you're not going to be able mm-hmm. to reach them. He was upset. I thought he was going to cry. He was so upset. Yeah, it is. Like, here I am out here, and these people keep going in here. Yeah. And then so... Uh, what time we got, Donovan? Well, we got plenty of time. Oh, Go ahead. You know, I'll be um, um, You know, the sad thing is one of our, our most ardent, uh, not enemies, but people that want to tear us down are our own people. Uh, it's always. always. We need to yeah. stop doing that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I, um, and I'm going to get you a comment, DeMarcus, but the, um, the black people out there while the Asians were giving away um, barbecue hot dogs sad. and stuff, it was that one of the, um, the, um, the black women that ran up on the dude. Oh, you don't know, get out of here, nigga. You don't know what he's good people. I was like, ooh, let me Yikes. at her. Let me at her. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> DeMarcus says, that would be, um, that would get you a lot of views. Promote yourself until it pays off. Y'all need oh, to yeah. make a page. Um, it'll boost your views all over the U.S. Everyone needs to hear what y'all have to say. I'll help y'all. Uh, with it, we'll see. Well, there, well, there you, go. you go. Well, you know, we appreciate um, you. You know, for for when Dee started her YouTube part of what she's doing now, uh, she has over eleven thousand views, and people keep adding and adding and adding. So. I don't look at the numbers. Yeah. I just, I just talk. Yeah, I, that's that's what I do. So. And then Benny said, "Mental slavery." That's exactly what it is. Mental slavery, and that's why I was telling my brother, "You're not gonna reach it." Marcus Garvey said the same thing. You're not. We're not gonna be able to reach everybody. There's mm-hmm. some people who like being like zombies. Mm-hmm. They want to be dead. They want to defend the oppressor. I mean, this lady mm-hmm. was. Bothered. They want to shake their ass. This dude's ass. Mm-hmm. She bucked up in his face over this dude. Mm-hmm. I was like. And if he was to knock the crap out of her, get the police! I've been assaulted. I, I think he wanted to, yeah. but he was like, "Nah, I better not." Um, and then Shauna says, "Free the people! Uh, free the people were dancing." <laughs> yes. They were. I mean, they were just, they were happy, like, getting this free barbecue from these, the, you know, the same people who sound like they've been on the block for years and years mm-hmm. mistreating them. And all of a sudden, they want to feed y'all. Again, what do we say every week, D? What you going to do? What you going to do? Nothing. That's why I said we need to get out there. And mm-hmm. I know it's in L.A., but we do need to get no, out there. And, you know, yeah, I have no problem. I'll go anywhere, any place, any time. But I'm not going to go out there for no BS. No, we ain't going yeah. out there for no, no BS. No, no, no. I'm just saying, yeah. anybody that wants to come out there, don't come out there and like you're a Denise Fleming Don type is the person. type of person I can't invite everywhere. I have to yeah. be twice yeah. because I know he will turn up. Yes. If, it's, if, the, if they're late. If it's some yeah, I, shenanigans, he will turn up. Yeah, so I'm a military anybody. man. I, I don't care what it is. If it's supposed to start at 8, it starts at 8. You don't reward. Nine, nine, no, it, you know, it's crazy. You don't reward people that don't respect the time that you've allotted. And then, and then by you not starting on the time, you're not respecting the That's people why that I don't did take turn up. Because I'm like, Donovan, he can't yeah, handle it. I'll I can't be, handle it. Donovan's After that bus be, trip. Yeah, Donovan's ribs it. will be sore. Yeah. yeah, we went on that bus trip. After that, I was done. <laughs> Al says, when eating Oreo cookies, just the outside and not the white, is that being too pro-black? There's something wrong with your... Speaking of Oreo cookies, Al, do you know Uh that the the sugar part of it in the middle is mostly Crisco oil? Did you guys know that? 
There's a lot of stuff you need to know about vegan, food. But thanks for telling me that, yes. so I won't eat it no yeah, more. Yeah, it's mostly Crisco. And you notice it has the texture of thanks Crisco. Thanks for oil. telling me that. Yeah. I, thank you. I don't want to yeah. eat no Crisco. Yeah. Uh, and so Benny says, and when I speak on this topic, I'm not ever trying to be condescending at all in this, um, it, at all. In fact, this includes myself as well. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, we, we're here. All of us are here to learn from mm-hmm. each other because exchange that's how ideas. we exchange ideas because that's how we grow. That's how we, you know, are able to take what we're doing to the next level. We are, and, I mean, that's the kind of same thing Kyrie suffered from. It's you and not me. Yes. Steve Harvey, you niggas Steve, need to yeah, do it. Yeah, you niggas. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah. and then when it's like, hey. hey where are my wanna, people at? I want to cry, y'all. Yeah. You yeah. know, but. Yeah, so you never want to get in the habit of you Negroes. But have you noticed, you know, going back to Steve Harvey real quick, real quick yeah. have you noticed that he never apologizes for anything that he does? No, in fact, he doubles down. Yeah, he, he says, doubles um, down, yeah. yeah. Like when he said, I don't give a damn about slavery. And when he told Paula Dean, I'm going to have you at my mentoring camp anyway. I don't give a damn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh! And remember when it first came out, remember... Um, he on his radio show. You're our mentor and our leader, Steve. He was eating that shit up like it oh, was Steph candy. Shirley, strawberry. strawberry, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, it's crazy. He's signing her checks. You got to kind of co sign. You know, you know? It's, it's crazy. I ain't going to co sign if you start writing me some checks. I ain't going to co sign on that. Oh, no, no. I don't want you to. No, I don't want you to. But, <laughs> but, but again, don't expect that check to be as big as it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> um, said, I just found that out. Um, and I, I was talking so long, I found what out? Um, all about the Oreos? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's news to me. Yeah, I know there's a lot of vegan, food. but I don't want to yeah. eat the Crisco. Do, do you know that in, in figs, if you pick a fig or you eat figs, inside the fig, the uh, wasp is digested, the queen wasp, because you can't get out. It could get in, but it can't no get out. No more figs for me. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you really don't want to know. I'm just going to eat air. Yeah. I can't even eat that no more. Yeah, it's it's really... Now, 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 I went to survival school, so I could eat anything. I, I'm like a billy goat. I'll eat anything. <laughs> but um, if people really realize what was going on in their food, they wouldn't eat. They it would all. be vegan. That's it's another um, documentary um, that Al watched, which I was shocked. It's about three hours long, and it's called uh, the Pulse. Traumatic Slave Diet. Dis- diet. Wow. Oh my God, the Pulse. Traumatic slave diet on YouTube. It's called the Hidden Colors of Diet. It's about the black diet. diet. Oh my God! Please, you guys, watch that video. You mm-hmm. guys will be forever changed about your food. Yes, you yes. will be. And so, in rounding it up here, um, Al says, "Hey, y'all. Demarcus was also a contestant on So You Think You Can Dance. Yes, you were telling me about that." Sounds like DeMarcus is super highly talented. We are going to watch for great things from him. And I would say, did you know, speaking of Crisco, Florence Henderson, a.k.a. Carol Brady, you see how I roll yes, my eyes, yes. <laughs> used to do only fried chicken commercials for the oil. You yes, know what? she did. That's right. Right back in the day. Y'all need to stop um, watching so much TV. And also, uh, there's a new movie that, that stars Florence Henderson and... Pam Greer, that Pam was like Greer. Some, a whole hot mess. And it was just released. I can't see Pam Greer as no grandma. And it's, and it's called, uh, what's it called? Dirty Grandmas? Dirty Grandma. Yeah, Dirty, dirty Grandmas. Bad Grandmas. Bad right? Grandma. Bad I Grandmas. I can't see Pam Greer. She just, I just, I'm not convinced. But you're going to see Florence Henderson smoking weed okay, and doing, I, I mean, I, it'll just change it. your whole image of Florence Henderson. Now that's acting. They can have that. And so Shauna says, like the show Supernatural, an episode about food. Mm. Um, I yes. never saw, um, seen the show Supernatural but well, please watch that documentary. It is so enlightening. It's very entertaining. You'll learn so much. Benny says, that's why I love your uh, live discussion. And I love you um, all you guys. You really rejuvenate my hope every week. And we love you as well. Yes. And, you know, I, I, I really love doing this. I, I, I really do. Because she must love to do it because she won't come to my house unless, <laughs> unless she's getting paid. Unless she's getting paid. <laughs> And if she ain't getting paid, she's sending Diana to collect her <laughs> money. Lying, I got Donovan lying. Donovan's lying. But uh, we, I, you know, I love doing it. I know Donovan loves I doing do. it. Um, this is what Donovan does. He does a lot of other shows as yeah. well. Um, we do a show during the week, so I mean, we actually have fun doing it, and we mm-hmm. we do learn a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. current events, just keeping a bit yeah. what's going on, mm-hmm. you know. And then Shauna says, I'm reading uh, Nutricide, The Nutritional Destruction of the Black Race. Mm, I would yes. love to read that. Mm-hmm. But watch that documentary. It talks about all of that. You also say the food was making people do crazy things. Yes, mm-hmm. and it still is. And he says, yes, I love the lives as well. And I, like I said, I love doing it. Uh, part of that documentary, and I'll go ahead and um, how much time we got? You got plenty of time. Okay. You got plenty of time. 15 minutes. Um, 
um, during the documentary, the guy, one of the guys was posed, he posed a question. He says, okay, so in slavery, we were given uh, the, the leftovers, mm -hmm. the, the pig guts or chitlins. Yeah, the and chitlins. The, and the stuff that they didn't eat. The entrails. Like mm -hmm. he said, there's this saying, you know, people living high off the hog. Mm -hmm. He says, well, that was a true saying because they ate the, the good parts off the hog and then, you know, we ate the bad parts. Mm -hmm. He says, okay, so that's when we were in slavery. We're not in slavery anymore, so why do we keep eating that way? Why? Habit. You know, Habit. Tradition. Right, and we're, and we're dropping like flies. I mean, black men are dying in their 30s and 40s. That's like... Well, that's if they live past the shootings and killing of each other. Right, so, yeah. but I mean, even just speaking to diet, yeah. the, you know, 40s, yeah, know. black men are dying. Yeah. I mean, that's pre... Uh, with uh, what the uh, Great Depression, yeah, where, Great Depression, uh, the, the life the lifespan of someone was like what 40, 50 46, ish. About 46, yeah, yeah about and 46. so black men are going back to that where your life expectancy is very short due to lifestyle, mm -hmm. diet. Well, what what about our women? I mean, uh, you know, I I know you hate me bringing up weave, but do, you know, weave, no, no, oh, don't you no, do it? No, no, but we, we were talking before the show even started how some women will uh not work out because they don't want to sweat. In well, no, and that's a good point. Yeah. Um, here Donovan was talking about, uh, and Al, I'm gonna get to your comment in a second. How um, it, it is known that black women, not all, but a lot of us, don't want to work out because we don't want to mess our hair up, and mm -hmm. so we sacrifice health right. over beauty. Um, and I, I mean, I, I know the struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, I fortunately have learned how to do my own hair just because I was interested in saving some money, so right. I've been doing my own hair. Um, I'll have to do this every three weeks because I work out. I've been trying to mm -hmm. lose 15 pounds. Not trying. I'm going to lose 15 <laughs> there pounds. There you go. Positive. Positivity. Um, and so I sweat. And so after a while, after a couple of weeks, I'm like, mm -hmm. what's that smell? Right. Oh, that's my hair. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I have to take it out. So, but I get it. Yeah. But but women are sacrificing their. But health. if I had to go bald in order to be healthy, I would be bald. bald. Right. I mean, that's just me. Yeah. I've been bald before, by the way. Uh, Al says, I remember, do you, watching an episode of Fat Albert when he <laughs> overate all unhealthy foods and got terminally sick. Mm -hmm. Cosby was saying that uh, on that episode, as blacks, we can't be greedy and take care of our bodies. Yeah. Um, uh, kudos to Bill Cosby for trying to teach us that, mm -hmm. you know, while entertaining us. Um, but here we are in 2017 where they say a baby can live to be 120 20. years old with all the technology that and we're we not have. doing it. Yeah, and black men, especially, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful to black men, but black men especially are not making it overall to 50. My brother used to have a joke that said, um, uh, uh, "A b old black man is rare, very rare." Yes, not even. I don't even think he was not even joking, but he was just saying an old black mm -hmm. man is becoming rare mm -hmm. because they're, black men aren't making it. Yeah, if you think about it, that's true. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the ones that are making it, they're in the prison system. Or very yeah. sick, or yeah. you know, very. So we we gotta yeah. take care. Of, and listen, I I you know tell you guys all the time. I'm a vegan. I'm a chunky one right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I've gone back to the basics. Um, but I don't try to tell people to be vegan how to live, yeah, how to or live. any of that kind of stuff. I t but to me, it just makes sense to just eat right, eat better. A lot of us are so, and I'm, and, and again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but we're so ignorant. To where we want to hold on to, I can't eat that. It don't taste good. Or, I mean, we eat for taste. I mean, or, or are we going to eat to live? Or, you know, I have a friend. Can we do both? Yeah, I have a friend that lost both her parents, right, at an early age. Her parents were like, you know, they were young. Mm -hmm. 60, they're in their 60s. That's young. And she's like, and I'm just saying, well, you know, maybe it was their life. Because the mother was a little overweight. The mm -hmm. father had cholesterol, you know, diabetes, Diet, which goes in a thing. Yeah. And you're thinking, okay, well, if that's what happened to them... Don't you think that you need, because we learn our eating habits from our parents. That's what the documentary was talking about, okay. too. A lot of times we learn that kind of stuff. Right. But let's see, get to these comments. It says, uh, can you say the name of the documentary again? Yes, it's called Post Traumatic Slave Diet. Post Traumatic Slave, Post -traumatic slave Diet is on YouTube. It's about two and a half hours long, so, but you won't even know that you're watching it that long. Mm -hmm. But it's a must watch. And they talk about that, too, in that, like to your point, Donovan. People will learn their eating habits from their family. Mm. You know, like they say, oh, um, they said like Big Mama, she used to eat that. When mm. Big Mama made her uh, sweet potatoes, she did this. Or, right. you know, it's a tradition that or, we eat that. Or isn't it funny how like you'll see a, a young little fat kid that's like mm -hmm. four years old and the, the child is overly obese. Mm -hmm. But the parents can't see it. 
Well, I mean, because they're they're feeding that to them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they can't go shopping on their own. Yeah, yeah so it's and sad. So, uh, uh, Shani also say, I think um, the I think that way of thinking about not messing up their hair is going out the window. I believe more women are taking their health more seriously, um, and I agree with you. I hope so. Yeah. On that too, because um, I I follow a lot of um, black fitness pages and stuff on Facebook as it's one called fit naturals where the women are natural mm -hmm. and they're fit, you know, fit. So they talk about different ways to do your hair while you're working out and all sure. that. So we are starting to wake up, but, um, there's some who are, are holding on to that. I can't mess my hair up. Um, and so, yeah, we, we, we just got to keep moving away from that. Al says Dom DeLuise started in, uh, starred in an eighties movie called, Fat so about a man who ate unhealthy his entire life. Yeah, I got that movie. I bet you did. I got it right now. And so there's a, I mean, that's a lot of people's story, you yeah. know, and you don't have to be fat to be unhealthy. And a lot of people think that because uh, I'm skinny or I'm thin that I can just eat whatever well, I want. Well, you know, I, I'm skinny and everything like that, but uh, I have high cholesterol, which is hereditary. Mm -hmm. So I got to take pills to circumvent or my... Arteries are and back away from the chicken, brother. <laughs> no. Back away from Winco the chicken. Wait, Al is a, a witness. Winco chicken is the best chicken he tell, on the face of the earth. He got cholesterol problems because it's hereditary, which it probably is. But brother, I know you be getting your fried chicken. <laughs> yes, I do. A couple of times a yes, week. Yes, I do. I, I got the magic pill that's going to circumvent anything that's going to yeah, happen. Yeah. All right. So uh, Benny uh, just repeated that. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the name of the documentary. Mm. Al says, why do after black people eat, they get sleepy and after white people eat, they want to drink? Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably what's in our food. Well, actually, when a, a person gets sleepy after they eat, it, it's a borderline diabetic. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Because the blood is rushing mm -hmm. from your head to your stomach to right. digest the food. Mm -hmm. So that is why. I don't know what makes people want to drink, though. And James says, that's true. Uh, not seeing a lot of old black men. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you really think about it. I mean, I know mm -hmm. a lot of uh, my grandfather on my father's side, he passed at 67 um, in mm -hmm. his uh, 60s. My stepfather was 67. He passed and he was a slender guy, but he had, you know, the high um, uh, blood pressure and mm -hmm. all of that ultimately uh, succumbed to a stroke. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, in your 60s, that's very young. We should very be young. living. To, I know I want to live to my like, grandfather's at 90. Least yeah, my grandfather's 94 and spry as I don't know what. They just took his driver's license away from him Thank last God. year. No, just <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Just last year. Oh. So, 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 so it's possible. Yeah. yeah, Benny says unhealthy behavioral habits are so normalized. That's what makes it psychological. Yes. Amen. It is. He's it's hitting true. It. He's hitting yeah. it. Benny is always on. Yeah. But yeah, that's true. I mean, we just, we have it in our head. That is, it, it's just, it's something, like I said, since my mama did it, mm -hmm. her grandmama did mm -hmm. it, we all going to do it. Yeah, it's not going to happen to me. On every third Sunday of the month, we eat hog head cheese and crackers. Right. Whatever hog head cheese is. Ooh, yeah, that used to be some good stuff back in the day. Ew! You ate hog head cheese? I'm from Lousy Hill. Is it some actual hog head? Well, no, head? it's just it's just cheese with a bunch of fatness on it. And Pig fat. Yeah, like the it's like the entrails. They put them all together Ooh. and they cut it up. It's really with some pepper in it. I thought pepper. I saw some hog head cheese in your. No, no, you didn't see anything because they don't make it good here in California. Oh, they don't make it. Yeah, good they don't make it good here. The in California. <laughs> they got yeah. the bougie hog head yeah. cheese it's, in it's, California. Yeah, it's the white plain <laughs> hog head cheese. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Shauna says, Donovan, one of my kids' teachers said the same thing about having high cholesterol, and mm -hmm. he was thin as well, which was surprising to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the cholesterol is what uh, is the plaque in your in, arteries, in your and arteries and stuff. Yeah, so if you eat a lot of chicken, and if your artery clogs up. It could trigger a heart attack. Yeah, absolutely. You ain't and, trying, uh, yeah. yeah. So I hope I hope he's, you know, working out. You know, he's young. If he's working out and counteracting that, he shouldn't have a problem. But if it gets my age, you got to start taking pills. Back and, up off the chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just got to cut the shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back up off the chicken. Yeah. Uh, and so Al says, <laughs> it, it, it is on purpose. Sweet potato pie is more unhealthy. That is why white people eat pumpkin pie. And hey, black people is not called pumpkin. <laughs> I can't stand him. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> I'm telling you, we got to get Al back on the show. Like, no, we gotta, we're we're, we're going to do a night show with uh, kind of like the late show yeah, with you and Al no, will be your, you no, Al, <laughs> Al could be your, your sidekick. He said, white people don't even care about their own. For years, Telly Savalas ate lollipops on Kojak. No. <laughs> pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> you got deep crying up here. She's about to tear. So. Yeah. How much time we got? Oh, we, yeah, got, we got five minutes. We got Go five ahead. minutes on the podcast. So again, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. All one of you. I'm just playing. No, yeah, all one of you that 
at the end of the week becomes at least a thousand. Yeah. So, uh, um, so if you, um, we're going to go ahead and end this. So yeah. if there's anything y'all want to say. Well, wait, wait, before we end, you okay. didn't talk about the young girl that's living the life that we were talking about. Oh, okay. So he wants us to mention a friend who shall remain nameless. She's a young girl. Um, she's very educated. Went to the uh, Walter. Don't tell her where she went oh. because we don't. But she has a degree um, in broadcasting. We'll just yeah, say broadcasting. that. Broadcasting. Mm-hmm. Very smart, bright. When we first met her, uh, Benny says Al Jackson should have his own spinoff. Yes, he should. <laughs> yes, yes, he said. I'm um, working on it. <laughs> so she went to school and everything. Um, she uh, when we first. I, well, she's not of his friends, but when I first met her, she had all these ventures she had going. She was doing this and that and all these wonderful ideas. She she's right. One guy. And all this other stuff. And she met a guy who was a lot older than she is, who um is now uh her Spengali. He has turned her out for a lack of better words. Um she's now doing some things she shouldn't be doing that she ordinarily wouldn't do. Wouldn't do. She has basically taken the path of least resistance. resistance yeah. um, and again, I, I don't want to put her all out. No, no, no. We're just saying, no, no. We're just saying that example yeah. of what the Cardi B thing is and how these young girls follow that, that right. that is, oh, well, wow. And, I, and, I, and again, because I agree with you, I think mm-hmm. that um, the Cardi B's and the people like that in the industry, they do have some influence, right. but I always say this, I could be wrong, but as you say, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, I just feel like if Cardi B or anybody else is more influential than your parents over your over your children, child you are then you are the problem. Mm-hmm. Now, my daughter will be twenty five, and I don't. She doesn't like Cardi B, but she listens to some music that I probably wouldn't listen. But Deanna has sense. Yeah, Deanna has sense. Mama, yeah. you know, has sense uh... When I was coming up, however, yes, yeah, she has sense. Because I wasn't the type of parent that, you know, didn't mentor her or didn't or, or raise her or was not active in her life. And so I feel like if you guys were to ask her, who do you look up to? She would say her mm-hmm. mother. Mm-hmm. And so that's how it should be. A Cardi B or anybody else coming into uh, your whole, the, your the music of your household should not have any effect on your children to make them. Want to go do that? Yeah, I want to be a stripper. I want right. to. I want to be illiterate. I want to, you know. Right now, with our friend, we know that um, her parents aren't as influential mm-hmm. because she said that she's done some things that are questionable, um, and her parents are just kind of like soft about it. Like one particular time, um, she had mentioned this on a, one of the radio shows that we did, so mm-hmm. it's not a secret that she was walking around the house with her booty shorts on and her booty was hanging out, and her father says. I keep telling you to put on clothes when you walk around the house. And she's like, oh, dad, you know, um, I, I'm going to be me. I just need to be me. And so I, as the woman sitting at the table for the, the radio show we did, I said, listen, this is not about you being you. It's about you being disrespectful. Right. That is your father. Why would you have him even ask you to put clothes on? And why would you even want to walk around but have naked around your father. I said, you're putting him in a position that he doesn't want to be mm-hmm. in. I said, that's not something he should have to ask you even one time. So I said, you might need to rearrange how you feel, uh, your thoughts about how you feel about your dad. And when I said that to her, she goes, I didn't think about that. Right. So the point that I'm making to that is how many people have she told that story to and right. they either gave her a high five or was just kind of like, oh, Instead of taking her to task a little bit, you, you, mm-hmm. the responsibility is on you. You Absolutely. should not be walking around your dad like that. And so we got we got time. We got like a minute or so left. So you know, basically, what you know, what we're saying is, you know, this influential what these kids are looking into. It is not unusual nowadays right. that they could be easily displayed. We gotta we gotta step up to the plate, parents. But plain and simple, and out of and hey, uh, black people, it's also uh, it's properly pronounced pre. Pecan, not goddamn pecan pie. <laughs> no, it's pecan, and that's a Louisiana <laughs> term. Said it's it's pecan, pecan, okay? It's pecan. It's like we like like we don't say shrimp, we say shrimp. Or scrump. Scrump, right. Y'all need we don't say sink, we say zinc. Okay. Uh, my grandma used to say when she wanted to rent something out, we're going to go on the range that yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, it has been my pleasure to do this. Um, those of you following on the podcast, thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you guys as always, my original um, audience. Check uh, out the, the YouTube. Facebook Live, my homies. Don't forget to check out the YouTube uh, video. YouTube, those of you guys who want to eventually be watching this on YouTube. And once again, thank you to Donovan, the wonderful uh, producer. I like to say Donovan throwing rocks and hiding his hands. That's it. That's me. For um, 
bringing this to more people. Uh, if it was not for him, um, this show would not be possible in the forms that it is. So again, I say thank you as always. And once again, thank you to you guys. I will see you guys next week. If you have any more comments, Al says, 